Aries, welcome. This is your heart spread read for December 2021. Uh, it's going to be a big month, guys. Um, Sagittarius here. Gilded Terra Royale. The heart spread reads the one on your mind, the one in your heart. That ends up in the shape of a heart. You'll be able to see as we go along. And I look at you and your person. Um, the first house, seventh house, is an astrologer. Uh, the seventh house for me, it's Pisces, is uh, what we uh, project our love interest into. Often said to uh, relate somehow to what we're interested in in terms of love. Um, so for me, Pisces, Neptunian energy. And um, you often don't necessarily draw in that sign. It's a little tricky. Uh, you might find that they have, like my girlfriend now is in Aries, which is Pisces moon. And, <coughs> excuse me, Pisces moon very strong for her. Um, she, just, she doesn't have the brokenness and neediness that I usually get as a savior. Thank God, so I've done my work. Um, so she comes in very strong, very Aries. I love Aries. You know, I have several Aries girlfriends. Uh, I should say she's my fiance. So we're, we're here in Cancun, Mexico. Welcome to the Cancun Indoor Studios. It's been raining like a mother for the last week. It's the rainy season. So pre-shuffled and let's just get down to it and look at where you're at, guys. Um, so this is your energy, Aries, uh, coming into the reading. This is you, where you're at, in and around love and relationships. I'm trying to isolate this from your person for a minute, whoever you're thinking of, so I can kind of look at where you're at specifically uh, in yourself. Um, um, five of Swords. Let me see how your person... Wow, Ace of Swords. And this is where your person's at, in and around love and relationships, where their heart and mind is at. Again, trying to isolate them for a minute um, from uh, your uh, energy. You notice this uh, in the um, Gilded Terrible Yell deck. Um, you see this uh, Ace of Swords comes with the Dove. Take some of the bite out of it. Often I see here in this position of where you're at, the Ace of Swords could be cutting someone off, setting boundaries. But with you, um, this is not about your person, but you're coming into the relationship with a chip on your shoulder, Aries. Um, your past relationships, this points to, I mean, you would have had to literally defend yourself. There would have been arguing. Um, this could be pretty vicious here. And, you know, you walk away from it, you know, it's that kind of energy where you win, but at a great cost, you know. And typically when you walk away from this, something's destroyed. Here is most likely a relationship. Um, but it was a relationship in which there's a lot of arguing and fighting. And I feel like um, your person's coming in here. It could be air energy, you know, Gemini or Libra or Aquarius for sure. Um, but they're coming in really honest and open here and with the dove. Um, this is not the kind of energy, if, if anything... When you have the Five of Swords energy, when you come into a relationship, and we're getting to where you come in now, the next card, um, but you tend to come in with the tip of your sword first, you know. Instead of extending your hand or a hug, people meet the tip of your sword. Hello. <laughs> and um, that's kind of energy. But I got a feeling like with this person coming in as the Ace of Swords, they're meeting you. And this could be the energy. I could see you all coming together, commiserating. You're saying to them, uh, my ex was a bastard, a bitch, and this kind of thing. And they're like, you know, oh, I get that. You know, I dealt with that. That might have been what they cut off. And maybe they're saying to you, well, the way I dealt with that was I cut it off. Excised it from my life. Now, this is your energy when it comes to them. How you're relating to them. Nine of Wands. Let me see again how they're how they're responding with temperance they're responding to you very well Aries um, you're kind of worn out I think is what this is but I like to look at this as how you're relating to them not really anything else um, but you're giving them everything you have and it's kind of taking you to your knees okay um, because I think it's just a difficult time there's like a transition here probably as you go into this relationship you're still carrying a lot of this energy of the Five of Swords, which is a nasty, difficult energy. But they're meeting you with temperance. That's a Sagittarius card. 
So they might also have Sagittarius in their chart that it can work, you know. Um, you could have a Sag moon or a Sag rising and also be an air sign sun. Um, but the point is, the way they're reacting to you is with patience, okay, temperance. Um, and I think when they're looking at you, um, they don't really see any red flags. They don't see any problems. And I think they're giving you time here. And this might be why you're on your knee. Maybe they told you, geez, Aries, you know, I get it. You don't have to do everything at once. Take a, take a break and, and get it together. And maybe your next one, because this is the wounded soldier. That soldier's going to get up and it's going to get back in the fray. And maybe this next one is going to be for your person here. And I think they're waiting for you. We don't want to read from the bottom. We do have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom, which I do read lightly now in the heart spread. And the Six of Pentacles, balanced energy. It's like you guys are coming together and it's balancing. And I think it has a lot to do with your person. You're, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, Aries, um, they're very direct and straightforward. They learn to be probably. That's their lesson they learned in relationships. Um, and they're coming in. They're very stable. Um, they don't, they're, you have temperance. I'm a Sagittarius. And I always wonder, how the hell can Sagittarius card be temperance? We're not patient. But this is really, you're patient. This person's patient because they're happy. They're content. They don't see any problems in their life. They don't see any problems with you. They don't see any red flags. And that's why, and I feel like they, they're giving you time. That's what this is going to come down to. You need time, and they're giving you time. You need time to get stable. Now, to go from the Nine of Wands uh, to the Nine of Pentacles, guys, this person's helping you get stable, maybe even financially helping you get stable, okay, in some fashion. Uh, because now this is your advice from Spirit in how to deal with this person. And what this is saying is that you need to do you. You need to get strong in yourself. Remember, we got the Six of Pentacles also as an overall energy here. So that's coming in. As an overall energy, you guys are going to be balanced here. And the way that's going to happen is you're getting into this Nine of Pentacles energy. That's your advice. And I think this person's helping you. This is really good, you know, because, you know, you're not dealing with a narcissist. You're not dealing with someone that's selfish. You're not dealing with someone that wants to take advantage of you or use you or doesn't care about you. This person, I think, is spirit is saying here, now you can be stronger, now you can be yourself. You know, I, as a relationship reader, I don't know why there's this idea that you can only grow when you're alone. Relationships, you can grow alone and we need to do that. There's a time and place for that. Uh, but there's, you can definitely grow in relationships. That's how it works, you know. We're here on this planet, we're very social creatures. In terms of love and relationships of all kind, that's how we grow spiritually. It's everything about it. I really like the way this is going, guys. Let's see where your person is. Wow. Um, now, this is the advice from Spirit uh, for your person towards you. And this is meeting the, the, the Nine of Pentacles. Um, your person might be a little bit older than you and a little more stable than you. Uh, and with temperance coming, I mean, you've got temperance over the uh, Queen of Wands. So um, we're really emphasizing the fire energy in this person now. They may actually be a fire sign, guys. And maybe this uh, Ace of Swords um, represents them. Um, like if, they're, if you're Aries, you often have a Mercury um, uh, in Aquarius here. Um, but this is, they're learning to communicate um, honestly and open, or they have learned. This is kind of also the past position to communicate openly and honestly. And their advice from spirit is then to kind of be themselves and to really kind of pour it on in terms of uh, passion, interest in you. Um, so it's a nice combination. Again, you, you're getting stable. Uh, you're recovering from this Nine of Wands energy. Um, and then once you become the Nine of Pentacles, that's when you can whip out the last one and, and move on into this uh, new energy, which I think is going to be a relationship here. It's looking like to me. And they are most re ready to see uh, receive you here. You know? Now, this is the advice from Spirit. Wow, thank you, Spirit. This is the advice for Spirit for the relationship as a whole. What did I say? I think you're getting ready to move into a relationship with them, and they're getting ready to receive you. And it could be like that. It could be moving to them, too, as you get stable. 
Um, but look, the Ten of Cups. I mean, it's a, kind of the best card in the deck in terms of love and relationship. This is a total happiness and emotional fulfillment in a relationship, Aries. Um, wow. Yeah, let's look at the outcome. Seven of Swords. I'm going to have to clarify this. Um, let, don't let that scare you. There's strategic thinking going to be involved here in this relationship. And this is coming now in the uh, outcome of the heart spread here in the center over the Ten of Cups. And it's coming between the Nine of Wands and Temperance. And so in order for you guys to get together, there's something that needs to happen. And this is not about lying, cheating, and stealing here. Basically, what breaks down two ways. Lying, cheating, and stealing, and strategic thinking. And here, this is about strategic thinking. But often, you have to do the strategic thinking because of lying, cheating, and stealing. And this, I think, could speak, you know, this uh, Seven Swords is moving towards your person over here, Aries. And I think this is you leaving behind these Five of Swords energy with this other person. And it may take some... Uh, uh, I was going to clarify this. I don't think I need to. Uh, it, you may need some help from your person. Remember, they have this Ace of Swords, okay? So the Ace of Swords would know how to handle the Seven of Swords energy, handle it correctly. Um, and I really think this is you dealing with someone from your past who may have been a liar, cheater, and a stealer, someone who betrayed you, someone who did not have your best interest at heart. And this is why there's so many arguments and fights. Um, and so also I get the feeling with this nine of wands it just hit me as you come into this relationship because I felt this Aries um, maybe what well, this nine of wands is representing you finally going <sighs> you you feel like you're with someone who's safe who's got you and you can you can collapse now you know it's like running a marathon and how many people they run 26 miles which is insane right and then they collapse at the finish line this is you collapsing at the finish line and recovering your strength and rebuilding your strength, you know. You know, a lot of this, this fighting, now seeing the Seven of Swords that you're walking away from, you know, that they're, they're assaulting your self-esteem. Uh, you're not a good enough man, good enough woman. You're not sexually good enough. You're not morally good enough. You're not, could be all kinds of things. Could be really narcissist behavior here with the Seven of Swords coming in. Um, and so it's, it's a period of time uh, here with you guys. Um, you could be uh, going through some kind of process of kind of getting it together. I think the strategic thinking is that. You know, how exactly do you bring your lives together? And how do you extricate yourself? Remember, swords or thoughts uh, from this past person. And I, I get the sense that your person here can advise you a lot. So there'll be like a lot of advice from this person. And I like their advice. It's not to control. And it'll be totally different what you experienced before. Aries. So thank you guys. It's a very positive read. I love it. I love the Ten of Cups here. This is the most important card in this eight card read in my opinion. It's the advice from Spirit. You take that shit to the bank. So thank you guys. Uh, do give me a like, thumbs up. Please do make comment if you want. It helps the channel. I appreciate it. Try to respond to all comments. I'd like to know what you're thinking, feeling about this. Uh, and um, do give me a, a subscription if you haven't and hit the bell and all that. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Thank you guys.